This video tells you everything you need to know to organize a whitewater canoe trip down the Petawawa River in Algonquin Park. The Petawawa River is a great little river that is well known to um, experienced whitewater canoeists in the Ottawa and Algonquin Park area. Uh, it offers uh, some really uh, interesting rapids, is easily accessible, and can make for a nice short weekend trip. First of all, the Petawawa River is in the traditional territory of the Algonquin people. It flows on the northern part of Algonquin Park and flows from west to east and exits the park at around CFB Petawawa. The river goes on then to join the Ottawa River at the town of Petawawa. You can see here on a road map that it is about four hours northwest west of Ottawa and it's accessed by the Barron Canyon Road, which is off of Highway 17. Uh, because it's in Algonquin Park, you'll want to get yourself an Algonquin Park map, which you can order online or get a hard copy of either at any of the park um, uh, ranger stations uh, or at Outfitters uh, in the area. If you do uh, get that map, you'll see in the top right hand corner this part of the map. So the, the route that I would recommend is a two and a half day route, or basically a, a weekend route. And uh, it would start here at access point number 23, which is Lake Traverse. And I would recommend you spend your first night right on Lake Traverse, just to get yourself organized. The put-in point here is just downstream of a class five rapid. And there's actually great rapids upstream of Lake Traverse, some very challenging rapids for experienced uh, paddlers. Um, but uh, in order to access uh, any further upriver, you actually have to drive in the north end of the park uh, at Brent. So it's logistically a lot more complicated to make a longer trip. And that's why the Petawawa River is such a great weekend, uh, though it's still challenging and remote whitewater uh, experience. So if you spend your first night on Lake Traverse, you can choose a, a second night anywhere along the river, uh, somewhere halfway, for example, just around Natch Rapids uh, would be good, but anywhere uh, is, is, is fine and uh, won't be a problem. And then you would continue downstream all the way down to access point number 21 at McManus Lake. So obviously with the put in and take out at different locations, you'll have to have multiple vehicles or arrange for a canoe shuttle. If you're gonna paddle the Petawawa River, you really should have this Petawawa River Whitewater Guide that's uh, produced by the uh, Friends of Algonquin Provincial Park. Uh, it is absolutely magnificent. It contains information about the river, about whitewater paddling, but also uh, there's a detailed description of each set of rapids along with the class, and that could be class one, two, three, or four, or five uh, along the way, as well it has detailed information about the portage routes, as well as the impact of water levels on the difficulty of the rapids. So I, I, this is an essential guide for anyone that is paddling the Petawawa River. On the way into the access points that I mentioned, you'll pass by two outfitters. Uh, one of them is the Algonquin Portage Store and Outfitters. It's a it's a big operation with lots of canoes and gear uh, that you can rent and you can also arrange through them a shuttle for your canoes um, uh, to and from uh, the put-in and takeout points. The other outfitter is Algonquin Bound Outfitters, which is also very experienced in here. Uh, I've used both of these outfitters and they're extremely reliable. And obviously you'll want to reserve ahead uh, if you're renting canoes or gear or arranging a shuttle. The other uh, reservation you have to make ahead of time is on the Ontario Park Reservation website. You can go to the backcountry part of it and select Algonquin Park and uh, the access uh, points that I mentioned. Uh, and then as I, as I say, I recommend you spend uh, two nights. So you can have Friday night on Lake Traverse, a Saturday night along the river uh, before you take out. So the river is uh, known for great whitewater. Uh, there are two main uh, rapids that uh, are of note. One of them is Crooked Chute. Crooked Chute is a long rapid with a, uh, I would say a mandatory portage at the bottom, uh, but it is a challenging set of rapids which many people uh, portage around entirely. And the uh, second set of rapids is Rollway Rapids, which is considered the best stretch of rapids on the Petawawa River. It's a long set of rapids uh, that has uh, multiple ledges and multiple features. Uh, here it is here. Um, it's a great, 
paddle. Uh, there are a few places to, uh, to eddy out, but in general, it's a long set of rapids to be run. So you wouldn't want to uh, take on too much water or um, tip at the top of this rapid. Um, so you gotta be prepared. Uh, there is a great portage around uh, River Wright, uh, which is up a bit higher. So you can get a good look at the river before you run it. And in high water levels, this becomes particularly challenging and, and turns into a class four rapid. So um, once again, this is for experienced uh, paddlers and you should know your level and have uh, the right uh, safety gear uh, if you're going to attempt this. The other thing I should mention is all along the Petawawa River, there is poison ivy. So do be conscious of where you throw your backpack or your life jacket or your paddles or where you walk uh, when you're camping. So generally you should stick to the uh, to the areas that are mentioned. And of course, all the sites uh, down the Petawawa River, as is true throughout Algonquin Park, all of the sites have uh, fire pits as well as uh, thunder boxes uh, that you can use. So uh, once you've uh, done uh, your weekend trip and gotten your shuttle and you're on your way out, uh, we always stop in, in Cobden at the um, Whitewater Brewing Company, which has a great menu and is very family friendly. So you might want to stop there. Uh, you could also stop uh, in Pembroke, um, although it's a little ways off the road, or Renfrew is another great place to stop uh, along the way. If you want to learn more uh, about the Petawawa River, um, Roy McGregor devotes a chapter to describing some of the modern history uh, around the Petawawa River, and that's a great read. Uh, so if you want to bring along a book or read something in advance, I encourage you to, uh, to do so. I hope you found this useful, and uh, we hope to see you out there this season.